Hello, and welcome to Coffee Talk, where we brew up curiosity around the world. Good morning. I knew you were going to like it. Yeah, I, I have to. We brought a spin. toy for Mr. Stein today. It's our special guest. Who is our special guest? The globe. It just spins like this. It's like a spin. sphere. It's a sphere, yes. A very nice sphere. Yes. I love it. I wonder what we're going to talk about today. Let's see. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about maps. Maps? Maps. I think I like There's maps. all sorts of crazy maps. Yeah. There's like globe maps. That's like I'm going to do this 3D. all the time. Yes, yeah, so we got globe maps. I might have map. to take that away from you. And then you. look, we got these kind of maps here. All these these are different. flat maps. Flat maps. So we got maps all over the place. We're mapping it out. I had a feeling we were going to like the maps. All right, here we go. We ready? Oh, right to it. Question. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mrs. I'm Stein. excited. Excited you yes. are. Well, okay. Here we go. All right. This is from Virginia. Okay. In my right in the USA. Right in the USA. Which is, yeah, where yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah, right here. Okay, right here. got it. Got Montana. it. She's in, wait, right around there, in the right. middle somewhere. Thank you. Virginia from Montana. I wonder if anybody gets confused with that. I was just going to say. Yeah. There's two names. That is very confusing. I'm Virginia from Montana. Okay, here we go. She says, what is a key on a map? What's a key? Very, I mean, keys are very important. They, are, they let me in my house. They let you in the house, mm -hmm. right? They're key. They're key. I mean, they're really key. Mm -hmm. They help me drive my car. They do. Mm -hmm. So on a map, there's a key. So you know what they're talking about. Because every map has to tell you something. That's where you have a map. Oh. And the key is like a little legend. A little key tells you maybe something that's important with a star or symbols. Things oh. that you need to look on the map and find. So it's like a cheat sheet. Perfect. It's Chi Chi. He's a master at I maps. It. I can tell already. I love it. No, Chi Chi, seriously, because it tells you, it tells you a direction, right? It doesn't tell you direct north, so, south, east, west. That's the compass. Yeah. Oh, the compass. The compass, compass rose. rose. Yes. That's right. Yeah. And it tells you directions and it yep. has like, I think. Never eat soggy waffles. My biology oh. taught, teacher taught me that. That's, that's true. No, I don't like soggy waffles. No, a don't crispy. do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Well, that's all right. So yeah, we got a key and it's got it's got like scales and stuff in it. It could have a scale. Could have a scale. Mm -hmm. It's got directions and I, I like the symbols, like symbols for Symbol. mountains and yeah, this and maybe that. the capital. What's the capital yeah. of Montana? Uh oh. oh. I don't know. Ask Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> we never brought it up. I don't even know where Montana is here right now. There's a lot of stuff on there. I put Mr. Stein on the spot. Oh, I mean, yeah, he no. said he liked maps, so I figured I'd like it. All right. See? <laughs> the globe map. The globe. The globe. All right. I got a question for you. Oh, you First, do? Okay. we gonna play a special game. Oh, give me a game. I'm nervous. You used to play Battleship when you were a kid, right? I love Battleship. You yes. do? Yes. Okay, so it's just like Battleship, but with the globe. The old kind. You ever play Battleship where you're putting all the red and white pegs in? Yeah. And then somebody knocks it over and, you, and they go all over the place? That's never happened to me, but no. I would be very upset. <laughs> it's, it's not fun. <laughs> I was just thinking it must have happened to you, oh, I think, Mr. Stein. Many times. Okay, so you were just talking about this. I thought it was a silly question. I thought everybody knows how to use this, but... Um, Mary uh, Z. Waldo, she, I'm not going to tell you where she where was. Is she? you got to find her first. Oh, I do? Do I get to use a map? Like, where's Waldo? Okay, okay literally, where's Waldo? Okay. We're going to find Mary Z. Waldo. She is at 30 degrees south and 57 degrees east. Okay, I have to do one number at a time. You what's, do. What, so, so, what was it, South? South 30. South, so South 30. So, that means we have to go below the equator. So, yep, this line yep, that yep. goes around the globe, right in the middle of the yep. Earth, okay, yep. that's the equator. It separates the northern hemisphere of the Earth from the southern hemisphere of the Earth. So, we're finding 30 South. Yep, oh, yep. Wait, I have to pick this up. You think you can find it? 30 South. Yes, I. And 57 degrees east. 57 degrees east. 30 south. 57 degrees east. He's spinning his wheel over here. <laughs> 30 degrees south is way down here. Did you find it? And then what? What? Which direction? East? 57 degrees east. 57 east. Oh, over here. 30. Where in the world is Mary Z. Waldo? It says the Antarctic. I don't think she's there. I don't think so either. Because South is way down here. She said she's from South Africa. South Africa. She didn't use her coordinates very well, I don't think. Wait, I got it. I'll find it. Oh, yes. Here it is. No, it was my mistake. I can't read. The numbers are so small on this. Listen. We need a bigger globe. Bigger globe. We need a bigger globe. We need a bigger, bigger globe. Bigger globe is better, I swear. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, so we 
got all right, but oh, so we go south and then yeah. east, and yeah, right there. South you could find it. We'll keep practicing, Mrs. Stein. Is there a question here? There's a question. Well, I don't know what you're talking the question about. Yet. I'm playing with the I know. She wants a very simple thing. I got very confused. Okay. I thought everybody knows how to use it. How do you use a scale? How do you use a scale? Oh, okay. All right. So now we're going to switch. So on, on the maps, in the keys, usually somewhere around the key, sometimes it could be on the side. Right next to it. Okay. It tells you how long a distance is relative to what map you're using. Hmm. So what I like to do is I like to use just like an index card, like our questions are written on, and, I, and I trace how long the, the scale is worth. So let's say, let's say from one end of the, the index card to the other end of this card, let's just make up a, a, a hundred miles. I was going to say the same thing. Miles. Right. There it is. I like the round hundred miles. miles. Nice, easy numbers. Yep. And I wanted to know how far it is from here, let's say Russia, to where she lives, South Africa. So way down there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to bring this closer to, I don't know, I want to. So what I would do is I would lay down my, my index card and I know it's a hundred miles from here to here. So that's 100 miles. And then I would put my finger there and I would slide this down and then I would look at it again. And that's 200 miles. That's pretty close. That's pretty close <laughs> for Russia all the way to South Africa. Obviously, this is not drawn to scale, but you get the point. That's why so, they call it that, drawn to scale. Yes, drawn to scale. Because huh? it scales everything down. I get it now. For this, because like it's a small I said, war. I mean, I'm yeah. thinking she's talking about the thing you step on in the morning and see uh, how much you weigh. Well, yeah, I don't like that scale. thing in the morning. I don't like that thing. I don't like that thing in general. <laughs> All right, a scale. So far, maps are fun. Maps are fun. I okay. like it. Okay, we can have fun around the. This time we really world. are going around the world. Yeah, with around the world. All right, here we go. All right. It says, "How do you find a place?" Oh, this is from Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy's in Brazil. Oh. Some vacation in Brazil. He's, we got fans all over the world. That's over here. Brazil. Brazil. Had it right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, it's just below. All right. He says, "How do you find a place using latitude and longitude?" Ha! Huh, Mr. Stein already told you, but I will. Maybe, maybe, maybe he wants to find Brazil now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> find Brazil better than it's I did. It's true. All yeah. right. So again, like battleship, it's like a coordination coordinate system. So you have two. Well, let's start with the equator, right? Okay. So this is. Zero degree latitude. latitude. So latitude travels, okay, from west to east, but it cuts the north and the south hemisphere. So everything that's a line of latitude above the equator is north. Everything below, boop, 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 south, we get to the south pole. So latitude across. I always say my son, when he gives me an attitude, he does this. He does this? Yeah. Mm, attitude, latitude. Mm -hmm. Okay. I always think ladder. Oh, I like La that too. Ladder, latitude, the rungs of a ladder. So you're going to climb up the ladder or you're going to climb down the ladder. You go up, you go north, you, you climb go... all the way to the North Pole. Or all know, the way down to the South Pole. you told me something today. Yeah, ladder, ladder, really ladder nice. latitude. All right. So then that only gives us one spot. Oh, wait, up or down. Out. Yep. Yep. We got to figure out exactly where we are. So if we wanted to go up to South America to get over here, then we have to get another line, right? Just like Battleship, you need two things. So now you have longitude. Do you have something for that one? Longitude. I like to swing out. I, I like to climb up or down before I swing out east or west. Or I climb up uh, north and south on latitudes, on oh, ladders, ladder. before I swing, swing swing long ways Okay. east or west. I like it. So this, like the equator, longitude, which goes this way, okay, up and down, is going to have a zero degree, and it's a different name, prime meridian. Ooh. Right? Yes, Prime Meridian. Yes, it goes right through Greenwich, England, Prime Meridian. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to that. Oh, okay. So the Prime Meridian is zero degrees longitude. So everything that is on this side is going to be west, and everything that's on this side of it is going to be east. So if you do that right, it should say we. Oui. Otherwise, it says ew. That's not good. We. Oui. I like that. I've never heard of that before. See, I made that yeah. up. <laughs> we or ew. No, always yeah. we. Yeah, always we, never ew. Yes. And then I think of prime, I always make you think of the prime minister. He stands up nice and tall. Yep. So he stands up like this, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And then my son gives me the attitude like this and all that. So that gives you an exact location, an exact point. So what was his name again? Jimmy? No. Jimmy. 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 He's on vacation in Brazil. Um, and I would say you are at um, 15 degrees south, 
And then I get my so longitude. Below the equator. Below the equator, very good, Mrs. Fine. You're mm -hmm. so smart. I remember. And 60 degrees. That must be west. West. So west is that way. Yeah, we. We. W west is that way. So we go down and that way. So the United States, where we live, mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Uh oh, okay. What quadrant is that in? What quadrant? I know. Oh boy. Okay, so, so got, the, wait. So let me see. Let me see. So the the United so States is north above or south. The, so that's north. Okay. And then the prime meridian's over, over there. Over here. So is it we'll east or west? West. Northwest quadrant. Yay! North Mr. Stein, you're so smart. You get a star get today. A star? You do. Yes. You do. All right. All right. And the next question is for you. Oh, I just, we have another question. We it, still have a couple. I know. Go. We got a couple to go. This okay. is from Carmen San Diego. Hi, Carmen in San Diego. No, she's not from San Diego. That's oh, her last name. that's her last name. <laughs> I like San Diego. Yeah. Aren't you from this? From San Diego? I am. This, 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 okay. this meniscus <laughs> was born, born in the San thought. Diego. The, the California San Diego. Yep. That's another name. Very confusing like Virginia and hmm. Montana. Yeah. Uh, Carmen San Diego, I got to tell you where she's from. 30 degrees north and 104 east. <laughs> You're doing this to me again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 35 north, 104 35 east. 35 north. I think now that I explained latitude and yes. latitude, he's going to get this so much faster than he did the last north time. And China. Yes! Yes! He's from Beijing. Very good. Can I get another sticker? Yes. Yes. Three stickers now. So I went I went we north started. and then I went west. Wait, east. 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 Very good. Good. All right, cool. Nice good. job using that globe. All right, does she have a question? Oh, she might. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, I'm sorry, not where she is. <laughs> so remember, she is in China. Um, she said her friend lives in New York. Ooh. Side. She's got to figure out how she's going to figure out what time she can call her if she wants to talk to her. Oh, me. yes, that is true. See, because she's trying to say it's not the same time in China? No, it's not because, like, when they're awake, we're asleep. When we're asleep, they're awake. Oh. So, yeah, so the, so the, the globe, the map. That sounds spinning. complicated. It's split up into time zones. The entire world, because it's spinning, it's rotating, they split it up into time zones so people can be awake in the daytime and then they can sleep at nighttime. So, how many hours are in the morning. day? Do you know how many hours are in the day? I think it's 24. Yeah, it's right. There is 24, right? Right? Yep. Yeah. Guess how many time zones are up? Seven. No, more. Twelve. Come on, you can get a sticker if you get it right on the third try. Twenty-four? Twenty-four! Ah, 24 I knew hours it had something to do with 24 that. Twenty-four time zones. Wow, so that it, makes sense. It does, it does. So the time zones split some some advanced stuff. 15 degrees. Okay, per, per time zone as we go around. Mm -hmm. Okay, now every time zone you go through, it changes an hour. Is it based on latitude or longitude? It's going east of longitude. Oh, it's based longitude. On longitude. The lines of longitude. longitude. 15 degrees of longitude equals one hour. So that means if we're going to the west, okay, so this is us here in New York. This is New York. And here's China, Beijing, all the way over there. But that's too much to spin. So let's say let's say it's what time is that? Ten o'clock in New York. Let's say it's ten a.m. in New York, and you want to call your friend in California. Okay. There are you have to go over one, two, three time zones to California. Three hops is to the west, to the west. So when you're going to the west or to the left, okay, you subtract. Minus. You minus. I yes. Did it. So if it's ten a.m. here, subtract. Then it would go nine a.m. You know what? Eight a.m. 7 a.m. in California. That makes sense because when I traveled there, mm -hmm. I lost time. And yeah, I didn't did. understand. I looked at my pockets, couldn't find it. Where'd it go? But good news is when you come back, you get gain time. So I when you move that. east, we're coming that from California sense. back to New York. Mm -hmm. We add an hour for every each so time. You get it back. Right. So you get it back. I don't like to lose time. No, That's I don't like to lose time either. No. That's why. Thank you for explaining You're that. You're welcome. My uncle lives in Australia, and I oh. have to always figure this out. He's 14 hours plus ahead. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole day. Yes. So when he day. wants to talk to me, he's got to set an alarm mm -hmm. because it's the next day. It's very mm -hmm. early in the morning. I went on vacation in Europe one time. You did? Yeah, when I was back in, uh, when I was a little Stein. Yeah. And I decided to Baby Stein. Uh, <laughs> and I decided to call Mommy Stein. But I didn't pay attention to the time zone, so I woke her up in the middle of the, She's the night. She's not happy with that. No, she yelled at me. She Aww. said, why are you calling me now? You said. She said, I, I don't think I'm calling you because I'm in why? Europe. And she yelled at me. Hey, winning Rome. Can you that? Couldn't That's so it. funny. I always ask my uncle, what's the winning lotto tickets today? Oh, yes. He must know. Way. It's the next day, right? Mm -hmm. He never seems to get it right. I don't know. All right. 
Ready for the next question? Here we question? go. Are you ready? Is it you or me? No, it's you. I you? had mine in, from China. Yeah. You go. Okay. So I asked you, what is a topographic map? What? A topographic. Oh my goodness. Big words. Topographic map. And this is coming from Kenny, Kenny. in Wisconsin. Okay. Kenny in Wisconsin. Um, so there's a special type of map. Even though it's technically flat. It shows you things on the earth that have elevation and they can show you the land and the earth and it's very good at that even though it just looks like a flat. It's so it shows you like where mountains are and stuff? It does. So if you want to go mountain climbing, it's very, mm. very good to have a wow. topographic map. So I can fold up a mountain and put it in my pocket? You can. Oh, cool. Isn't I can that cool? Up. I've always told I can move Is mountains. Is that your favorite type of map? Yeah, I can move mountains. I can move yeah, mountains. I love topographic Ain't no map. mountain high enough for you. Ain't no mountain high enough. It also shows that you can go down too, right? It shows up Depressions. And down. Depressions. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 down, yeah, down yeah. depression. It down. does. And valleys. and valleys. Yeah. And when things are flat, so you can mm -hmm. actually get a picture of the landscape or the profile of the land from using what we call a topographic map. Wow. Very, 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 very cool. I like, like mountains that have high elevations. They're fun to ski down. Yeah. I ski you and ski? snowboard. Yeah, ski, snowboard, the whole thing. I knew how to ski before no, I didn't know how to walk. That's interesting. Yeah, see, mommy yells at me when I call her, but she I, she'll yeah, take me ski. skiing and snowboarding. Though. That's very yeah. nice. Yes. So a topographic map. Yes. Is we're going to learn how to use it a little bit more. Move mountains. Mm -hmm. Um. So I was looking at this map, and apparently so was Dora D. Explorer. Hey, Dora. And she I've said, heard "You heard her? I've heard of her." Well, you gotta find her. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Here we go again. Where are you, Dora? All right, she's in fifty-one north. And one, just one, west. <laughs> you, there! <laughs> that'd be amazing. It was pretty close. <laughs> I was pretty close. Where is she from? London. Yes! London. I was just a couple countries over. You're really? <laughs> Only a hundred miles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, All right. Okay. So, okay. and it does look a little complicated, so I understand your okay, concerns, Dora, but she's like, one of these topographic maps mm -hmm. that you talk about. Yes, they have lots of lines. That's what she wants to know. I mean, why? Yeah, so many lines. What are these lines for? So these lines, so these lines have a certain name, Dora. They're called contour lines. Oh, all right. Yes. I use contour for my face when I make my when I do my makeup. Does that make your face that. come out? It does. Or is it it's like a big bone. <laughs> it so, does actually. So okay, so contour lines, they, they tell us what the elevation is of the land. So how high above sea level is it? Oh, that's good. Yeah, so it's important so you know how big of a mountain, how big of a hike, how big of a ski hill you're going to go down. So these contour lines, they go they go up by a certain number, which is called a contour interval. Okay, so it's like going up a set of steps in your house or steps in school. Each contour line is worth a certain contour interval, so it goes up by the same amount. So let's say, yeah, they're equal. So let's say it's 10. Okay, let's say the contour interval is 10. So that means if you go through three contour lines, you go up 10. Yeah. Another 10 to 20 and another 10 to 30. Oh. So it goes up even every time. It doesn't change on the map, which makes it a lot easier. That's good. Yes, it is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they connect them by equal elevation. Equal elevation, yeah. And they never cross each other because you never. can't have something that's 10 feet above sea level and something that's 20 feet that above sea level make sense. at the same time. No, that doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. Not. So each one of these lines, if they're connected, mm -hmm. that's the same elevation. That's the same elevation. I get yeah, it. the contour yeah. interval. Mm -hmm. And it also helps us with uh, how rivers flow. Because oh, rivers, they only flow one direction, or one way. I shouldn't say direction, one way. Tell us about the rivers. How do they flow? They flow down, down. Hill, down because of gravity. Yeah, gravity. gravity. That's all you need to know. I mean, everything falls down. Every, everything falls down. That's all you need <laughs> Wait, to know. That's just the way it is. You want a path or a science yeah. next year? All you need to know is things fall down. Well, that's it. I mean, I, I also was wondering um, if you could tell if it's very steep because yes. I don't know oh, if yes. I want to go up the steep side of the mountain. That's right. Or if I want to go up maybe the, the more gradual side. Right. How so, can I tell that from that map? Yes, you can because when the lines are closer together, oh. that means it's really, really steep. Ah. The elevation changes really quick. I don't want that one. If the, I, I like that one. That's the fun. You get your no, mountain climbing I'm equipment. Bunny you slope. Up. No Ms. bunny Ms. slope. Miss Meniscus goes down the bunny slope. Double diamonds. Double diamonds for Mr. Stein. Bunny slope will be it. I and meet then, you at the bottom. Yeah. We have coffee <laughs> Having your coffee and cocoa. <laughs> so, so, 
And so when the lines are spread apart, that's a very gentle, that's your bunny slope. That's your, your bunny slope gentle. is very, lines are spread apart. Mellow, no, gentle, that's and right. calm. Yes, Double diamond, like. steep, that's the way to go. That's scary. That's us. All right. All right. That was fun. That was great. I learned a lot about maps today. You know what? I didn't think I liked maps. Just the secret between us. But maps you know what? They were oh, fun. They were fun. Mr. Stein? You know what you can find at the end of some maps? Treasure. <laughs> a trove. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do that next time. Okay. All right, sounds good. All right, another episode of Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk. Cheers. Cheers.